What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Lil Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and today we are on Fear the Walking Dead, season six, episode four. This episode is called The Key. Um, so last up, well, the last three episodes have been amazing, uh, but last week we really focused on Al and Dwight. And, um, well, one, they developed a really great bond that we haven't really seen before with those two. Um, I loved it. I'm pretty sure most of you guys loved it. Um, I know I wanted to see Isabel, but maybe I guess for the best that they didn't do it. But who knows? That storyline is not over. So I'm sure if it doesn't continue on fear, it'll come into play like later in the Rick Grimes movie, especially if the theory about Isabel being uh, Elizabeth's on World Beyond's daughter is true, um, then that story will connect at some point later on. Um, this episode is a big one, uh, one that focuses heavily on John. Um, the key, I'm sure, is either referring to the key that he's going to get to make him a uh, leader within the communities of Virginia, Virginia's communities, whatever, um, or the key Morgan found. One of the two. Um, so, because I'm pretty sure we're supposed to see, like, at least John. I think I've seen Strand in the trailer. I don't know if I saw Morgan, but I would be surprised if he didn't show up. So, we got some stuff going on, so let's uh, jump into it and see what's going on with John this episode. Probably not too good, especially since he's not with um, June. I always struggle with June's name. I like to call her Laura because I binged the series recently, so she's been Naomi, she's been June, she's been Laura, so if I mess it up, my fault. Full reactions on Patreon. No, he's not living too fancy here. Mm. Oh, you got tooth decay? Eh, I guess it is kind of hard to keep up on hygiene in the apocalypse. Mm, toothaches are a bitch. I really like that Fear's been touching on like little things like toothache. Like, tooth decay would be real because the hygiene part is hard to keep up with. Um, the uh, rats, bubonic plague. Stuff like that, like little things they've been touching on that I actually really appreciate. Because these are minor issues you gotta deal with in the apocalypse. Things I carry this day. It's pow pow pows. People deserve to live in a world where they know which way is up. So he got moved to Strand's community. You more than anyone can understand why, given how things played out the last time. That's who he was, who he is now. Kind of like when Rick and Michonne got to be constable. My fear is not as I imagine. I'm guessing he's just kind of bored now. He's doing the same thing every day. I see the other guy was drawing. He must be bored too. Suicide? Morgan Jones. I'm guessing Daniel leaves supplies in the, the haircut box. And that's how Morgan knows what to look for. Smart. For this in the vehicle, they took her in at the Gulch. Good luck, Daniel Salazar. Oh, this is Alicia. Who he's looking for? Is he looking for um, Grace? <laughs> he's keeping the bloodhound. I love it. This new Morgan is something fierce. I like it. Exactly this is <laughs> yeah, how does this work? I need you to find somebody. Why did now you bark when we get close? Well, I think he has to start sniffing the ground. They really miss that opportunity to let him keep that badass beard. I know how I can start to take their toll, especially when it's one of our finest. Best thing we can do is go home, all right? Not everybody. Uh, come on, man. I'm, I'm trying to secure the scene. Understood. We can go around and just pick you up. We don't help anyone else. 
Ford can't worry about his drinking more times than I can count. Mm. Must have gotten too close. Well, there's only one way to find out, sure. How's that? We look into it. Can't exactly investigate that look. No, nah, there's something more shady behind this. Some shady shit going on around here. Strand. So this is like right as Strand's getting back. You wind up with that hardware, don't keep. Uh, same way you wound up with that. And this is what I'll do. Yeah. I have a good feeling Janice is, has something to do uh, with this. Don't have a well, that's not what I'm here for. You're a suspect. I want to talk to you about Cameron. Does it familiar to you? I found it near the body. It's not mine. I know. Since you gave that laundry, I mean. I'm sorry. I've never seen it. Nah, she's she was a little defensive. Uh, I don't trust it. Okay. We don't really know much about Janice. Well, and I'm sure she's not too happy to be back in this community. Uh oh. Hey, hey, hey. Janice? Oh, whoa. What do you need? Trying to sneak after the fence. Alright. You trying to run off on us again? Check her bag. Oh, uh, that's not looking good for her. She might have got caught trying to run off by that ranger and she had to kill him. This is not good. John might try to protect her though. He said she was the closest thing he had to family. Let's hope. Don't tell me it's the other earring. Why would you keep that? Why would you keep that? About that. If you seen he had the other one and was looking for somebody with that, why would you keep that? You would have you should have gotten rid of it. You said those weren't your earrings. But you really didn't know Cameron. No, oh, that's true, is it? Well, mystery over. Janice headed out for me since Tom and I refused to kiss her ass back at Paradise Ridge. Did you kill Cameron? No. But Janice decided it's me. How did I get cool otherwise? Mm. She does look really sus though. She's about to get ejected. I'm good and I can't set this straight. Yeah. I know you. Strawberry yield's been good this year. Makes me think we're on the right track. Some jam got you thinking that. I just need to do a bit more due diligence. There's other people I can talk to and hell I didn't even get a chance to probably inspect the body. What were you gonna do? That's the footprints? Maybe. I know you don't believe Janice did this, but I think you need to ask yourself the next time you're into vision. Or because you don't want to lose your carrier pigeon. Excuse me? You read our letters? Every single one. Cameron made sure of it. That motherfucker. What's going to happen to Janice? An example would need to be made. That's not good. I just Wait. love how he keeps part of his hat flipped up. You were top? I was, yeah. You don't want to kill anyone? I did, but I didn't mean to. You're doing the right thing. She's protecting someone. Who? I don't know. Do you need to keep looking? Okay, so okay. he's on the right track. You're back now, huh? I hope she didn't hear that. When Janice is right, she's being set up. Though she just really made herself look so sus. See, this is literally what Among Us is about. This is like an Among Us episode. <laughs> you just end up ejecting the wrong person and the imposter is still out there. Behind you. Oh my God, another one? So the burial site is beyond the gates? Hmm. Hey, it led you to a clue. What is it? I can't tell what that was, but he had something stabbed into his hand. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. 
There's quite a few dead people for a safe community. Kinda stinks trained is a little sus, cause I mean, he only showed up for a small portion of this episode. I'll speak of the devil. Cameron wasn't killed by the past, man. His throat was cut, plain as day. It was from the grip on the last one. Much broken off when he was trying to knock whoever was attacking him. What does this prove given our current predicament with Janice? The way Virginia keeps weapons on lockdown, Janice couldn't have got a knife out of there without us knowing about it. So who would? A ranger. Strand. Sus. You sus. I'm good at this game, y'all. Nice whistle. That surprises you? We'll be dumb enough to bring the murder weapon back. I guess that would be true to that. Why would Virginia want to protect Strand? Because she said Virginia is protecting someone. They're only as safe as they feel. They know what's really going on. Okay, you think she'll sit by while you go public with this? Well, she won't have a choice if I can prove it. Even her own sister thinks she's protecting someone. Okay. Well, Virginia's already sus. I wish we could just eject her ass. I just need you to sit tight for just a little while longer. John, I said stop. I can get you out of here. You can't. Why not? Being the door and... Wasn't expecting you here on your time off. John, I see you got my message. Thanks for joining us. For what, Winky? Her confession. Did Strand put her up to this? I, I'm... I know I said I was innocent. I did it. I killed Cameron. Cameron, what are you talking about? He told me he couldn't go anymore. He didn't think what we had was worth it. I was hurt. He's Angry. hoping John will buy it. The fight to go outside. Strand is too sus. I, but why is she taking the fall for Strand? He must have some bigger plan. Strand, come on. To get her ejected somewhere. Sent somewhere else where he wants her. Thank you for finally unburdening yourself. I hope you'll be able to make peace with what you've done. I'll keep confess. That's not account for something. I understand that you were invested in this goal in a different way. You believe you feel safe. And we're gonna make sure they do. I don't like her like methods. To say your goodbyes. So she's just gonna string Janice up. I haven't known Janice that long, but one, I don't believe her. Two, I just don't really want to see her die. She seems like she could have been a really good character. Now, we know John. He's going to keep looking into this. He ain't going to let it go. Thing is, though, she left with her brother. And she was going to leave Cameron behind to stay with Morgan and them unless she was waiting for him. No. But, hmm. I'm going to get Janice out. There's only a few rangers on tonight during the shift change. Oh, he is going against the rules. Oh, God. We can find another way. Five more time. There's no one to buy. I want you to make sure Jill gets this letter. So she knows what I I had. So he's committed. Who knows, John? You may yet see her again. You never know. Y'all always find each other. Oh, she's gone already? They're doing it without her, him. Cause they didn't want him to stop him. Or she already got out. Wait, what happened? Don't tell me she already got hung. They, they did not. They did not! Wow! They strung her up. They let them rip her apart. What the fuck? He's about to be pissed off. Wow! Oh my god, they ripped her in two. The fuck? That is some dark shit. That. Oh. Wow. 
for something she didn't even do, probably. Wow. Who did she take this fall for? Oh my God, that's not, that is a horrible way to fucking die. He's pissed. He is pissed. Like I said, I didn't know her long, but that was not a way for her to fucking go. That's just fucked up. Rip Janice. Uh-oh, he got the gun out. Uh-oh. Someone's at the execution. Oh, no. You know? Did you tell her? Someone told me. Did you tell him? I did not to. You arranged that confession? With Janice's idea. You told Jeannie what I was going to do? I told her that Janice was a flight risk. Jesus, John. Strand. Oh my God, are we doing this for real? Really, you two? I mean, I know Strand ain't no bitch. You ain't gonna just let somebody hit him, but. Rabbi, no, okay. Thank you, Rabbi. You killed Janice. Yeah, I'm gonna take the fall. Strand didn't want him to be hunted down. Strand did the right thing. I mean, I don't know. I'm so conflicted morally. He is not believing in this place anymore. He's pissed. And Strand just got his ass beat. June! That is exactly what he needed. Jenny always knows what to do at the right moment. She knew she was going to lose John, so she brought June. She ain't sneaky. She's, um, Jenny is sus. He's just so happy to see you. They could have gave him a better house. That is rotten. Get that thing pulled, bruh. Yep, pull it out. I mean, I personally would have to have somebody else do it. Mm, I don't really want to see this. I, uh, mm, okay. I couldn't do it. I hope his gum's not like rotten or infected. Now Morgan just has to find Grace. Yeah, I hear. Something you like from that. Oh! The fuck? You okay? He's like, did something happen? This is why we follow the law and obey mm -hmm. our traffic signs. Somebody's at fault here. Their insurance premiums are going up. That's the dude who uh, is looking for Morgan, the key that Morgan has. Now would be a good time to say sorry. Facts. Where's Neil? Virginia knows exactly where he is. Who the hell's Virginia? We just want the key. Neil is getting for us. I don't know what you're talking about. And you stay back. If you know what's good for you. I don't want to hurt nobody. Oh, he won't. Oh, he will. Yeah, y'all got Morgan fucked up. Oh! Oh! Jesus! Come on, Morgan. You just beat his ass. Beat his ass, Morgan. You didn't been through too much to lose to this guy. Come on, Morgan. There we go. Oh, damn it. He got the key and he knows it. Y'all fucked with the wrong motherfucker. That's Morgan fucking Jones, baby. <laughs> Y'all better recognize. That key has some importance. He just don't know what. The mystery of season six. This was a great episode. The episode, it was really it was good, but we didn't find out who murdered the dude. Um, Cameron, we we still don't know who murdered Cameron, so we still got a murderer on the loose. 
Janice didn't do it. So Jenny knows who did it and she's protecting them. So obviously she didn't care too much for Cameron, probably already knew she was with Janice and she didn't too much care for Janice. So she clearly didn't care too much that Cameron died. She's protecting someone, but why? Why would you want to protect someone who killed one of your rangers, somebody you handpicked? That's the question. And she sort of just threw June at John to ease him off the whole subject because he was really on edge about it. it kind of drove him to a dark place. He was already kind of lonely, suffering from a toothache. That's just enough to make anybody in a put in. in a, it's just enough to put anybody in a pissy mood. So, I don't know. Hmm. No, I have no idea. It's probably a character we haven't met yet, honestly. I thought Strand might have did it, but he just really... She, I'm, Jenny wouldn't protect Strand. She doesn't really too much care about Strand. I, I mean, as far as I can see. But Strand was... You know, oddly okay with her dying. As if they didn't just work together, uh, you know, before he became a ranger. Like, he didn't care about her at all. I mean, I know they just kind of met her like we did, but I don't know. And I know Strands is taking a darker path too, but that just almost seems wild. Because Strand, as much as dirty things that he does... He was doing them for the good of his people, at least I think. Which is why he pushed Alicia away. I don't know. I really don't know. I think as the season unfolds, more will be revealed. We only had that one particular episode that focused on Strand, so I don't know what exactly Strand has planned or what he's doing. Ooh. But... He wanted to leave, I mean, Janice to take the fall, so I don't think that's a small thing. So we'll we'll see. Um, glad to see he got reunited with June, but I was kind of looking forward to see what June was going through at her community. Maybe they'll flash back, or maybe no, not at all. Uh, maybe it's just her story will continue with as we unfold uh, John's story. So that means so far we haven't seen Wes. We haven't really dived much into what Daniel's doing. We know he's going around. He's leaving notes for Morgan um, supplies um, and leading him to Grace. She's at the Gulch. So we haven't, obviously that guy's gonna get to, we haven't seen Grace. So um, I'm assuming we're probably gonna see her next as Morgan goes to the Gulch to rescue her. We haven't seen Luciana. Um, hopefully we get to see her next. That's my favorite character. Um, I don't think I'm missing anybody. Um, so that's probably the next the next batch of characters we're gonna focus on, and Morgan now knows um, that uh, somebody was looking for that key. So now he needs to go and figure out what that is. Now these people have been going around spray painting the end as the beginning or whatever, beginning of the end, and um, Al and Dwight have seen that too now. So we. I don't know how that's gonna connect things, but I'm sure they'll start seeing those uh, spray painted messages and kind of get to the bottom of this. And it also makes me wonder if they're not alone because uh, Thea and Dwight found out that people sabotaged that building and put those infected rats in there, or at least somehow infected the rats. So it's like, why did those people do that? What was the point of that? Why? like? There's some bigger mystery, you know, unfolding here that we need to figure out. Like, what were they doing? What's in that sub? Well, Morgan's on that path, but I'm pretty sure Grace is the priority. So, we'll see. Um, but another great episode. Um, Fear Season 6 is doing great. Um, it was the best time for me to binge it. I'm glad I did. I'm loving the characters. I'm loving the darker twist. Walking Dead is... Oh, it's a dark show, so I'm glad it's finally gotten to the dark thing, especially after last season they made it so light. And it's just such a refresher and so much more interesting now that they're, like, attacking people and killing people and, like, people are dying. It's not like all life is precious anymore. Like, you know, we they fucking people up. So it's like, 
I'm loving this season. They're doing really great. So with that being said, um, be sure to let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.